hello everyone welcome to this tutorial on probability this is an introductory video on probability this is our first video on this topic first we look at definition probability is the measure of degree of likelihood of occurrence of events for instance if the number of required events e is denoted by n of e and the total number of possible outcomes s is denoted by n of s the probability pr of event occurring is pr of e equal to n of e over n of s so this probability can be expressed as fraction decimal and percentage so we look at complementary and likelihood of events the value of PR of E lies between 0 and 1, where 0 indicates uncertainty and 1 indicates certainty. The closer the value of PR of E to 1, the more likely the event will occur. If the probability of an event occurring is X, its complement, that is the probability of the event not occurring, is 1 minus x so from here we go ahead to solve some problems example one a bag contains five red three green and four blue beads a bead is drawn at random find the probability that the bead is a blue b red c green d white so in our solution we look at the number of red bead is 5 the number of green beads is 3 and the number of blue beads is 4 and the total number of beads will be 5 plus 3 plus 4 which gives 12 now starting from a probability of b that is probability of picking a blue bead will be how many blue beads do we have there 4 over the total number of beads which is uh, 12 so probability of picking blue beads is 4 over 12 and in the simplest form we are going to have it as 1 over 3 since 4 divides both 4 and uh, 12 to give 1 and 3 respectively then we we'll go to B the probability of picking a red bead will be how many red beads do we have there we have a five over the total number of beads and this is already in the simplest form so we go to C for problem C we are looking for the probability of picking a green bead so we have a three green beads in the bag over the total number of beads this will be reduced to the simplest form also that will give us 1 over 4 and uh, the last one which is a uh, probability of picking white do we have white beads in the bag no so we have 0 beads out of the 12 beads and that gives a uh, 0 since there are no white bead so it is not certain at all that we will get white bead from the bag so the probability is zero so we are done with example one we go to example two in a single throw of an unbiased coin find the probability of having a a head b a tail so in our solution we have uh, the sample space of a coin to be head and uh, tail so the number the total number of possibility that is n of s is equal to 2 so probability of getting a head will be 1 over 2 since in the sample space there is only one h and the n of s is 2 so we have it as 1 over 2 and for B part of the problem, the probability of getting a tail 
is also going to be 1 over 2 since there's only one tail and the total possibility is 2. So that's the end of solution to example 2. We go to example 3. For example 3, in a roll of a dice, find the probability of obtaining A a 5, B a prime, C a perfect square, and D a factor of 6. So we go ahead to find solution to this uh, example. The sample space we have a uh, 1 to 6. So with this 1 to 6, we are looking at n of s is equal to 6. Starting from uh, a part of the problem, the probability of picking a 5, since there's only one 5 in the sample space, that's going to give us 1 over 6. So we go to problem 3b. It is probability of obtaining a prime number. So we go to the sample space and identify the prime numbers 2, 3 and uh, 5. So there are 3 elements in the sample space that are prime number. So we have it as 3 over 6. And in the simplest form, we have it as 1 over 2. Then we go to C part of the problem. For problem C, we are looking for a perfect square. We look at the sample space. Which of the elements are perfect square? So we look at uh, 1 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square. A perfect square is a number whose square root is an integer. So We've gotten 1 as perfect square and 4 as perfect square and there are 2 elements in that event space that's going to give us 2 over 6 and in this simplest form we have it as 1 over 3. The D part of the problem, probability of having factor of 6. We go to the sample space again, which of the element in the sample space can divide 6 without leaving a remainder that is a factor of 6 so we have a 1 2 3 and 6 itself these are the factors of 6 we have there and we have it as 1 2 3 4 so we have it as 4 over 6 and in the simplest form we have it as 2 over 3 and that is all for example 3. We go to example 4. For example 4, each of the letters of the word elephant is written on a card and dropped into a box. One card is drawn at random. Find the probability of drawing A, H, B, vowel, C, consonant. In our solution, we know n of s is 8. How many letters do we have in elephant? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have uh, 8 letters there. So the number of elements in the sample space is 8. So the probability of getting h, we look at how many h do we have there? Only 1. So that's going to give us 1 over 8. And that's all for 4a for 4b probability of getting vowel so we look at each of the letters of elephant and select the vowels e is a vowel the second e is a vowel and a is also a vowel since there are three vowels in the letters of elephant so the probability of selecting a card that is a vowel is 3 over 8 and since it is already in the simplest form we go to problem 4c that's probability of getting a card in which a consonant is written on so we are going to use the complement of the set so the complement of picking a vowel is consonants 
and the complement of picking a consonant is vowel so it is as good as saying one minus picking a vowel and that will give us a five over eight and that's all for example four we go to example five example five the probabilities that steve will pass wyek jam and cambridge examinations are respectively 0 0.46 61% and 11 over 20. A. Find the probability that he will fail WAEC. B. Which of the exams is he most likely to pass? So in our solution, we are starting with A. The probability that he will fail WAEC. So the probability that he will fail WAEC is a complement of the probability that he will pass WAEC. That's going to give us 1 minus 0 0.46 and that gives 0 0.54 so we are done with a part of the problem we go to b part of the problem which of the exams is he most likely to pass we are going to look at the probabilities of passing wyeck jam and cambridge they are 0 0.46, 61% and 11 over 20. And 61% is already in percentage. We then change this 0 0.46 and 11 over 20 to percentages. So starting with 0 0.46, multiply by 100%, we have it as 46%. And 11 over 20, multiply by 100%, we have it as 55%. And comparing the three probabilities, we have 61%, 46%, and 55%. Since 61% is the highest, and that is the probability for JAM, therefore Steve is most likely to pass JAM. And that's the end of solution to problem 5. And here is the end of this introductory lesson on probabilities check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get links to other videos on probability until we come your way again goodbye